When you wake up with the flu and it's a week before your powerlifting comp, feeling a little bit frustrated to say the least. So, welcome back. Another instalment. And I'm sorry that I look this way, but I am really not feeling too flash. So my partner's had the flu for about the last week and I've literally been avoiding him. But obviously we sleep in a bed next to each other. And I'm sick. It's very sinusy. I meant to finish my last day of squats today, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I think I'm gonna have to make the smart decision and take the day off see how I'm feeling tomorrow and then hopefully I'll get some squat footage of my final squats and being a child in the chair. So, get on with my day, take some supplements, recover, smash myself with greens, olive leaf extract, whatever I basically can um, until I feel better. And yeah, olive leaf, vitamin C, zinc, echinacea, Magnesium, lots and lots of this, and hopefully, be on the mend for next week. Guess what day it is today, YouTube? It is, no, it's not comp day, it's the morning before comp day. So, I am up bright and early in my lovely macro snack shirt, and it's winter, but I'm in shorts because. I gotta go weigh in and there is no way I'm getting weighed in in my underwear. So, light clothing. Um, I really haven't done anything crazy this week. I haven't done any water cuts like I had planned. I haven't done salt manipulation or anything crazy like that. I was planning on just doing it just to trial it out and see more for my clients. Um, because with bodybuilding, I normally train bikini girls, so you don't really have to get aggressive with trying to drop fluid and stuff like that in the last week. Um, that being said, I've had the flu for a week now, and it just wasn't worth risking it. Um, you know, loading water when you're already excreting a lot of water when you're dehydrated because you're sick is probably not the best idea to do. I would rather feel good at the comp tomorrow rather than have to drop weight and feel like shit. It's a novice comp, so I don't have a weight class. It doesn't matter how heavy I'm and when I weigh in. It only matters for me and people seeing my off-season weight, which is not feeling too fabulous. And that's something that I do want to talk about. Um, I said to my partner yesterday, I was like, oh, I'm really nervous that people are going to see how heavy I am because, you know, I don't look that weight. And, you know, at the moment... Um, yeah, I'm sitting at like 68 kilos, which is like the heaviest I've ever been in my entire life. But I feel good and I feel healthy and I know that I'm not overweight. Um, I know that I'm at a healthy weight. And I think the thing that he kept saying to me that I need to remember is that I have a lot of muscle mass on me now. Um, you know, a few years ago, I probably only had 40 kilos of actual muscle. Now I probably have like, uh, I think last time I did a body composition thing, it was like 54 kilos of muscle, something like that. So I'm not saying that I'm lean. I am by no means lean at the moment, but I need to remember in my head that I used to be on stage at 50 kilos. There's no way I'd ever get back on stage at that weight. I weigh more than that in muscle these days. So I think we have to put into perspective that muscle is obviously denser. So somebody that say weighs 65 kilos um, and has a lot of muscle mass compared to someone that weighs 65 kilos and doesn't have a lot of muscle mass will actually visibly look bigger than the other person. Um, and you know, it is hard. It is hard putting your weight out there in a public forum when you're not at your, say, optimal weight. Um, but I'm at a weight that I feel really strong at, so I'm okay with that. And, you know, I'm going to actually do a proper cut and a proper deficit and do another comp in September, another powerlifting comp, not a bodybuilding comp. Um, and I'm going to have the target weight class of either the 57 or the 60 kilo class, depending on how I go. I think that 
I could probably, I would say, and still be strong, um, be at 60 kilos and then do like a water cut to get to the 57. Because what happens in powerlifting is obviously the lighter you are, the better Wilkes score you get. So the Wilkes is a calculation based on your sex, based on the total number that you lift and based on your weight. So obviously the lighter you are, the heavier you lift, the better Wilkes score that you create. So I had an estimate of the numbers I want to try hit tomorrow. 350 total is my goal. That on a Wilkes score for me at the moment will only give me, I think it was like a 330 or something like that. I would love to get a 400. Um, yeah, I think my partner when he did powerlifting got a 420 because he's a freak. And that's my goal one day. And you know what the good thing about Wilkes is, is that it's comparable guys to girls. So that's why they invented it. So if you're not sure what a Wilkes score is, um, I'll pop a link down here that you can actually go to and calculate your Wilkes score. I'm going to see roughly how strong you are. But it's a really nice way to actually compare based on weight and all of that. The only thing I obviously dislike about it is the fact that muscle does weigh a lot more than fat. So that is a little bit annoying in a sense. But, you know, you can't do anything about it. I'd rather have some muscle mass on me. But then it's all relative because obviously with more muscle mass, you're going to be stronger, generally speaking. Um... You know, so yeah, it's exciting. It's It hasn't been the perfect prep by any means and that's why I have been a bit quiet on the YouTube front for the past couple of weeks. Um, I had the flu and then I've had a lot of pain with my QL. I honestly just think it's a lot of overload through the joint. I don't think it's a major injury. This week I've done a very light sessions, tried to recover a lot of mobility work and it's feeling good. So fingers crossed tomorrow my deadlift will start to feel better. My deadlift's been feeling like shit due to my QL. Um, so I'm going to go weigh in about a hurry the fuck yeah because I got to go to a course after this and go and set all my opening weights so what you have to do is set down weights that you can hit comfortably what we were doing last week with training not this week so before my peak week was doing some doubles so whatever I can hit for a comfortable double I'm going to start on you want to start conservative so I'm going to start my squat on 100 I know that's not super heavy but it's the squat is the one I feel most inconsistent with based on how I feel when I wake up tomorrow. So I'm just going to put down a conservative number. I know I can hit that for five. So I'm going to do 100 kilo squat. If that feels really good, I'm going to jump straight up to 110. If it feels a little bit shitty, I'll probably go 105 or 107. Um, if I, This is the perfect plan would be 100, 110, 115 or 120 based on how I feel. So that's the goal there. Um, bench has been feeling really, really good. So I'm hoping for a PB tomorrow. So I'm going to open on 70 kilos, which actually used to be my PB. But I've been doing it for pause, doubles, and triples, and it feels awesome. So opening at 70 on the bench, um, hopefully I'll go 75 and then whatever after that. Because 75, I think, is my training PB at the moment. Um, I think I might have done that for a double. So 75 and then anything over that I'm going to be really happy with because remember it's a pause bench when you're in a powerlifting comp like you're waiting for a call and then you're driving up. I think touch and go I could probably push out 80 kilos. I might try that in training but definitely for pause you're probably not going to have the same strength level. Um, especially girls because we don't use our chests as much. You've got to use a lot of triceps. So deadlift. I don't know about this one. Um, I think I'm going to open on 140 which again it actually felt heavy when I did 140 a few weeks ago in training but that was because my back was tight. Did it um, some hundreds the other day and they felt super good like super easy and I had to really hold back from going heavier on them. So I think I'm going to open with 140. If that feels super light I'm going to jump up to 150. If it feels like a bit of a grind I'll go 145. Um, the goal for that would be 140, 150 and then whatever 155 or 160. Um, that's why I'm a little bit worried about starting on 140, whether that's too light or not. I'm not sure. Um, but again, it's the end of the day as well. So you're going to be a little bit fatigued from the squats and deadlifts. So I'll go a little bit more conservative on that and then whatever on the last couple. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to go weigh in, um, go and set my heights for the mono lift. We're using a mono lift squat and then set my bench height and chat to the boys at PTC. And I will chat to you later. And I'm probably going to go get some carbs.
lots of carbs, all the carbs today. I'm going to have oats. I'm going to have clean carbs, and it sounds really boring. But if I eat shit carbs, I'll be really bloated, and I've got to wear a sexy soft suit tomorrow. Not only that, but the belt pressure. So I want to make sure that I my digestive system is good, that I'm not bloated tomorrow, that I've got no discomfort in my midsection. So I'm going to have mainly oats, rice, um, maybe a little bit of tutti frutti, but not go mental on the toppings, probably just a bit of fruit. Uh, that is about it. I'm going to go for probably about 300 grams of carbs today and then some simple carbs when I wake up tomorrow morning before the conks at us at 9 in the morning. So I'll probably have to eat about 7.30, probably earlier, probably 7 because I've got to go there and warm up and stuff like that. So that's it. Uh, this is my sexy soft suit. Oh my god, it's so weird and so small. For all of those who are asking, it's Inza. Um, I got it from Loaded Lifting, where I got my belt and my socks and everyone. They're an awesome WA company, so hit them up, loadedlifting.com.au. You get to see that tomorrow. Woo! It's going to be so ugly. I'm so sorry, everyone, for, I'm sure, what is to ensue, a solid camel toe. from the oh it's really shiny there just got home from an all day course um, with one of my mentors Jason and we had Nathan Baxter come down and speak I think my dogs are trying to kill each other Oi Zena Zena no no Boofles You alright they try to steal each other's food all the time um, so yeah, we had that with Nathan Baxter and it was awesome. The biggest take home thing that I probably learned from him, he's a power lifter and I think does some strong man work as well and works with a lot of people with injury issues, um, problems with activation and like everything is talking about training dosages. What is optimal for someone? It's something that I find really hard as a coach to define. Um, so what we mean by training dosage is how much volume is a person going to use per session, what exercise are you going to choose, what loading is that going to do on their joints, and then as an end result, is that going to be optimal for them? Is it too much? Is it too little? How do you figure that out so that they A, don't become injured, and B, get stronger? So it's something that I'm really going to think about and probably define some new assessment tools for my clients, which will be really exciting, um, a bit of work to do. But... I am going to get my food ready for the comp tomorrow. I'm kind of having a bit higher carbs and higher calories in general today just so I've got lots of energy for tomorrow. Um, but I'll run you through some foods that I'll be taking to the comp tomorrow. So for breakfast, I'm actually going to have, I've got 80 grams of oats and about 20 grams of protein powder. And I'm probably going to actually have a couple of whole eggs with that as well. I'm going to have to eat at about 7 in the morning and we're lifting at 9. So, so quite a big meal for meal one because then it's pretty much just going to be snacks throughout the day. Um, I'll probably have some fast digesting carbs. So these are the glucogel jelly beans, maybe a bit of Powerade. I like these little baby mandarins because they're nice and small and easy to eat. Um, and then if I've got two options, if I'm feeling a bit peckish at midday, uh, it's 100 grams of macro snacks, protein muesli. Probably whack in a bit of fats with it, some peanut butter. Um, that is 200 grams of just good old white rice. And I'm going to cook off some chicken to go with that because there's not a lot of protein in these meals besides these two. So I'll probably just kind of eat depending on hunger levels. Um, haven't done it before, so I've got no idea. I might be super hungry and need more food, um, but that should get me through. So brekkie snacks and then probably after I squat I'll probably have either that meal or that with some chicken 
and before bench I guess then bench and then I probably won't have something too heavy before deadlifts because sometimes it can make me feel like I'm going to spew so I'll probably just have like some Powerade and jelly beans maybe a tablespoon of that if I'm feeling a bit low for energy fats slow digesting energy um, and yeah that's pretty much it I'm going to end this vlog there and I'll do a full video tomorrow at the actual competition so hopefully and I'm out YouTube I will see you bright and early tomorrow off to get good night's sleep pack all my lifting gear for tomorrow and I will keep you updated thanks for watching